Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how to use the autopilot in the A4E or its fancy name as it's known as the um, automated flight control system um, and it is located just down here on your left in this little section here. Now before you can use the AFCS you need to warm it up um, and if you've got the um, startup procedure correct you would have flicked this switch onto standby now the idea is that after about 30 seconds you can then use this um, by f flicking the switch to engage um, and you've got a few other bits and pieces obviously you would have flicked the stability augmentation switch on as well um, but you have basically two uh, modes in the autopilot heading select and hold and alt altitude hold um, unlike normal aircraft you'd have a uh, a dial to set the altitude you'd wish the aircraft to climb to and settle at this basically is a takeover switch. You fly to the altitude you want and then apply this switch keeping the um, aircraft relatively level and straight and the computer will take over uh, keeping you at that altitude. Heading on the other hand um, will go with whatever is set here. So I mean we can change change it by using the mouse scroller um, to whatever um, heading we want. At the moment we are currently on 160 so if we oh no, let's set it to 270 <coughs> oh, that's wrong, it's 270 my headset's playing up, sorry about that 270 Okay. There we go, 270. <coughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off active pause. Keep. Oh, I'll show you the altitude hold first, uh, and then I'll keep it in the altitude hold, and then I'll add the heading select and hold at the same time, just to show you how it goes. So. Uh, we'll come out of active pause. Okay, need to throttle up. So, like I say, uh, you've got to try and keep it relatively easy. Too aggressive maneuver, and the computer will just get all confused and blank itself out. So, I'm going to use my left hand for this. Engage altitude. Right. And there we go and the aircraft is now settling itself out and we are now sitting comfortably at 6200 feet and throw back slightly don't want to go too fast um, and you hear the click just then and you can see the altitude hold has come off because I've um, uh, I uh, exceeded the amount of um, uh, force that I could apply to the services before um, the computer cancelled out. So another thing that I will show you is we are in a right hand turn here um, and if you flip the altitude hold now it will keep in that bank angle and it will also ov obviously do what it says on the tin and stay at that altitude so you, you can pretty much take your hands off the controls look for any potential targets so uh, we've got disused airfield down there uh, we could if it's safe to do so we can set the autopilot look for potential targets or if we're on a reconnaissance mission we can actually look out the window um, and we wouldn't have to worry about diving into the ground or stalling the aircraft um, 
as the computer is doing everything for us. So what we'll do is we'll take the altitude hold off just to prove you that it is that that's doing it. Okay, and now we're starting to lose a bit of altitude and the speed is starting to bleed off. Right, so what I'm going to do now is level out, get some speed up, and then I'm going to apply the altitude hold again so that we're nice and level and the aircraft is behaving as it should. level altitude hold okay so we are currently on heading of 061 or 062 maybe even, yeah 065 maybe, maybe right but we did put uh, a heading select of t 270 so now you can see that the altitude hold is on we're keeping the altitude We've got still got this bank angle, but if we flick heading select on now, you can see the the plane is now going to turn to two seven zero. Take the gun sight off. It's nice to have a an autopilot that works quite well. I mean, I I know it's only a two axis basically. Uh, heading azimuth and altitude, but at least it's it works and um, is doing as it's supposed to. Okay, and we are now three six zero. Slow down slightly. Still maintaining that altitude, we've not dropped anything, even though it looks like we're in a slight dive, we're not. And we're going to head out to sea. Coming up to three zero zero degrees. Seven zero, and the aircraft should level out. We should carry on on our merry little way. There we go. Straight and level. Two seven zero. Okay, that's pretty much the autopilot in a nutshell. Remember, the standby has to be on for thirty seconds before you can actually use it. Um, then you click engage and then you can start fiddling with the, the heading select, um, heading hold and altitude hold. Um, stability augmentation as I say should be on um, to start with on your, as part of your takeoff checklist and your Alon trim, um, I don't see why you'd need to use it but if you, if you lose the normal trim you can select emergency trim. Uh, but apart from that, that's it, basically. Um, so that's it. You know, go out and have a play with it. Um, yeah. Okay. So hope that helps. And um, thanks for watching. And again, as always, take care. And I'll see you in the next one.